This is the Freebird TKL designed and manufactured by the team over at Keeps Roll. And if that name sounds familiar to you, it might be from their highly anticipated 60% custom keyboard kit that I reviewed in a video a while back. And this time, they're coming out with a TKL board to fill the underserved segment of affordable aluminum TKL boards. How affordable, you might be asking? Well, for the full kit, it's 225 US dollars, which includes the CNC aluminum case that comes in both WinKey and WinKeyless layouts. And for the production units, I was told that four color options should be available, which include black, navy, olive, and the e-white as you see in this video. And your choice of plate, I have the aluminum and palm plates here, but FR4 and PC should also be available for the production run. A hot swap PCB that is QMK and BIA compatible, Drock V2 stabs once again as we saw in the Freebird 60 kit, and a carrying case that should resemble the one that's included with Freebird 60 as you see in the photo here. and a gummy o-ring for the friction mount option, as well as a USB-C cable, silicone case dampener and feet, and again, all of these parts are included in the $225 complete kit. I do believe that they intend on making the case alone available for around $120 US dollars. So if you already have a compatible PCB and plate set, you could easily just grab the case and complete the board yourself. As you watch me put on the stabilizers on the PCB, I do want to highlight once again that the unit in front of me is the V1 prototype. So there are a few improvements that have already been made and will be made to get the board ready for the group by. For example, the typing angle has increased from five degrees to six degrees based on community feedback and other improvements may be made before the production run. So please don't be surprised when you see some discrepancies on the product page when it goes live. To test out the board, I wanted to configure it to be a nice clacky board with a flexible typing experience. So I went with some lubed and filmed Duroc palm linears on a palm plate, then friction mounted using O-ring. And to test the board as designed, I didn't use any additional plate foam, but did use the silicone dampener that was included with the kit. And if you're interested, I'll leave a link down below for all the parts and to the product page of the Freebird TKL, but this board is still in the interest check phase, so make sure you join the waitlist through the link in description to get two day early access to the group by when it goes live. How the friction mount works is by inserting a large gummy o-ring between the PCB and the plate and the whole assembly basically sits on these aluminum pillars that are located on the bottom case. As there are no pressure hot spots caused by mounting screws, the friction o-ring mount offers a nice flexible typing feel while maintaining a very consistent typing sound and feel across the entire board. Before we move on to the rest of the build, I just wanted to quickly thank all of you that subscribed to my channel as I push towards the goal of reaching 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And if you aren't subscribed yet, I also really appreciate you watching my videos, but please consider supporting the channel by hitting that red button as it helps me a lot. And surprisingly, YouTube still shows me that over 94% of the viewers are not yet subscribed, so I would much appreciate your help improving that ratio. And now back to the build. The rest of the assembly steps are quite straightforward. You first place the silicone dampener in the bottom case. Then you gently place in the PCB assembly while paying attention to make sure the gummy o-ring is what is in contact with the pillars of the bottom case. Next is to put the top case on and flip the entire board upside down to gain access to the 10 screws that will be holding the board together. By the way, if you also want a sound test video, 
using the top mount method as well as the aluminum plate, please let me know in the comments so I can get those videos out for you guys. Once the top and the bottom pieces are screwed in together, you'll have the PCB assembly freely bouncing up and down as you can see from this USB port movement. To top off this nice e-white board, I went with the PBT doggy set from Keeps For All, where you can actually find some extras in stock by the way. And to continue the dog theme, I also broke out my Yongsu Artisan keycap, sculpted by Kizen. Alright, let's see if this board sounds just as nice as it looks.